A equivalent of fraction is basically reducing a fraction into its simplest form. So here's the problem. If I give you a 18 over 72, and someone says, well, 18 72 is also equal to 1 over 4, or 2 over 8, or someone else says, no, wait a minute, it's equal to 6 over 24. We would have a big problem on our hand, because uh, in reality, all of them are equal. Okay, but how do we know? So that's where the equivalent fraction comes in. And we're going to simplify to the point that there's no uh, common factor between the top number and the bottom number. How we get there, uh, let's take a look at how do we simplify it. Now let's take an easy case first. We have a 2 over 4. Okay, Both of them has a factor of 2 in there. And then you divide it by 2 on top and bottom. And then this one becomes 1 over 2. Okay, As the fraction gets a little more complicated, what we want to do is write out all the factors in the fraction. So let's try it. 18 is 2 times 9. Okay, 72, let's say you didn't know it's equal to 8 times 9. Okay, if in this case, if you do know it, then you cancel those out, and then there's another factor of 2 in there, and you have a 1 over 4, and then you're done. Okay, let's say you didn't know that, what do you do? So 18, and 72. What do you do? And then, and then you write out everything you see. Okay, it has a 2 in there, and it has a 9. 9 is really 3 times 3. Okay, let's say you saw that. And 72, let's say you saw that has a 3 in there. Okay, so 72 divided by 3. Let's do it on the side. So 2 is here. So it's 12, and this is 24. Right, so let's see. Instead of any 24, you see, well, 24 has a 2 in there. 2 times 12. Okay, here you do upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, and he left it with 3 over 4. Okay, and then we'll have to do one more time. 3 times um, 4 is equal to 12. Now, a lot of students say, well, if I cancel this, there's nothing left. So what happens? Well, it's actually not, it's nothing left. It's actually 3 times 1. Because 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, so it's not that there's nothing left. We just don't write the 1s. And the answer is still 1 to 4. So again, going back to what we said earlier, equivalent fraction is basically reducing and down to the simplest form where the top number and the bottom number no longer have anything in common. Okay, that's the simplest form. All right, hope this helps. Have a confident day.